This is the Moo Moo Meadows cow. At first, he doesn't seem like much. All he looks like is just a regular cow. But as we take a deeper dive into the Moo Moo Meadows cow, you'll soon realize that this is not the case. I love the Moo Moo Meadows cow. I mean, look at him, he's perfect! This smile, that big round one right here, conveys a lot of emotions. He's standing proud and happy, but most importantly, he is fearless. Hundreds of steel cars drive down their meadows every day, but the Moo Moo Cow never yields. The internet loves him too. Just recently, the Moo Moo Cow was Twitter's newest obsession of the week, creating a giant thread as well as hundreds of posts idolizing the big guy. I'm pretty sure at this point, the Moo Moo Meadows Cow has more fan art than most characters of the Mario series. But let's get this straight, what is the Moo Moo Meadows Cow? Well, they're actually not called cows, rather, their real names are Moo Moos. Why? Well, according to my scholarly sources, cows do indeed say Moo. But why two Moos? Well, for some reason, the Mario series loves using adjectives twice, because they really want to convey the feeling of these things. Ice Outpost? Nope, Ice Ice Outpost. Rock Mountain? What if there were two rocks? Dry desert? This desert is dry as hell! Add another dry! So yeah, when they were naming the Moo Moo, I guess they gave it another Moo because they felt like it was extra Mooey or something. Moo Moo's first started appearing in Mario Kart 64 on the second track in the game called Moo Moo Farm. They're actually not blocking the track itself. Rather, they are behind the fences enjoying their everyday lives. I love the first design. I don't know, they just look so round and silly. It's not until Mario Kart DS where we got our first look at the modern Moo Moo, in all of his pixelated glory. But at this point, Moo Moo Farm was getting a bit stale. Both the players and the Moo Moos needed something new. In comes Mario Kart Wii, with the world famous Moo Moo Meadows. This is where many people, including myself, were first introduced to the Moo Moo and his Mooiness. This is even where Sonic the Hedgehog got to meet the Moo Moos for the first time at the London 2012 Olympic Games. The Moo Moo was so popular that it was even added to Minecraft with the official Mario skins. Finally, Moo Moo Meadows came back in Mario Kart 8 with a beautiful upgrade. I mean, look at this place. I would want to live here. This is where Moo Moos have peaked in their high definition prime. Not only do they look stunning, but now Moo Moos come in all different colors and patterns. There's the black spotted Moo Moo we all know and love, but also the blue spotted Moo Moos, brown spotted Moo Moos, brown Moo Moos, and black Moo Moos. Anyways, besides frolicking in the meadows without a care in the world, what do Moo Moos do exactly? Well, like cows in real life, Moo Moos are the main source of dairy in the Mario universe. We can even see the barns where Moo Moo milk is made. But make no mistake, these little barns are the source of the entire dairy industry. Not only is Moo Moo Dairy big enough as a brand to sponsor Mario Kart TV, the in-game organization behind Mario Kart, but they even have their own brand of Mario Kart milk. These Moo Moos feel the entire world with their dairy, from the pizzas Mario eats for lunch to the entirety of Cheese Land. Probably. However, there is something frightening that I learned while researching about Moo Moos, and while this is shown directly to us, it goes right over our heads. I'm sure there's been a moment where you're driving on Moo Moo Meadows and you run directly into a Moo Moo and spin out. Well, do you ever stop and think about how the Moo Moos just stop a moving car completely? Let's look at the facts. By playing on 200cc with the fastest cart combination, 10 coins, and boosting with a mushroom, according to Talon Grasp, our top speed is around 150 miles per hour. And despite going this fast, the Moo Moo will always, no matter what, stop our cart in its tracks. Cars start becoming fatal as early as 20 miles per hour, but Moo Moos don't even flinch at 150! These cows are so strong that the reason they don't bother moving out of the way or even look at the cars driving down the road is that they don't need to. They might as well be invincible. Speaking of invincibility, the only way to get a Moo Moo to move at all in Mario Kart is to use the Invincibility Star, one of the most powerful items. But you want to know what's truly frightening? All the Superstar does is launch the Moo Moos in the air for a bit, and that's it! They're barely flinching and have taken no damage. 
even if you hit them with a speeding bullet the size of a tank, they just fly a bit in the air, and that's it. That's it. They land and they still smile. Is everything a joke to these guys? Do they know how capable they are against everyone in the world? I've heard that Australia once went to war with kangaroos, so when is the Mushroom Kingdom going to war with Moo Moos? All it takes is one Moo Moo to get angry, and an entire city might collapse. You know what, I'm convinced. Moo Moos are one of the strongest Mario creatures ever. A single herd could annihilate Bowser's army. I've always heard the debate of 1 billion lions versus one of every Pokemon, but screw the lions. What about 1 billion Moo Moos versus every Pokemon? Now the Pokemon actually have something to fear. Moo Moos probably could go through all generations of Pokemon and still smile in the end. You know, I think the lesson we can learn from Moo Moos is that you gotta keep smiling. Even if two tons of steel are driving towards you at 150 miles per hour, no matter what.